Hey guys, how the hell are you? This is Islander, welcome back to the island. Okay guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Also hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing. Okay guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, smash that like, let me know how I'm doing. Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a top 5 video. My top 5 ideas on what Pixonic can do to improve this game. Okay, uh, and after the video, in the comment section below guys, if you like my comments or you agree, let me know that you agree. If you disagree, tell me so, tell me why. If you have something in mind that can improve on one of my ideas or betters my idea, I want to hear that too, okay? So we're going to count them down off from five to one. And the first one, number five, things that Pixar could do to make this game better. Making goal affordable, okay? We all see the deals when they come up. They don't come up very often, but we all we see that $1 deal for 600 gold. Now, what we can do or what they can do, since we know that they like to maximize their profit okay they can make the gold ready readily available if you could buy the one dollar dollar gold all day long for 600 you know buy it by ten dollars buy it by a twenty dollar buy it by the fifty dollar or the one hundred dollar mark you know it would help them improve their game improve their profits at the same time it helps all of us making it a lot easier for us to maximize our hangers getting the players more back involved into the game okay you know, people are out there playing with, with, with the weaker hangers and having to go up against the MK2s. Well, this is going to bring them up to par, up to speed uh, with just a little bit of money that they can make this possible. Okay, so that's one our idea number five. Making the gold more readily available, bringing it back to the Royale, make it, uh, being able to win gold there, bring it back into the, uh, the black market, make it available there. But the main idea behind this is to make it available and affordable for the players to purchase if they choose to purchase okay number four <clears throat> making a cheaters forum okay a forum where the players can go and report cheaters okay and not only just be able to report them and, and send a screenshot but also being able to have the capability to upload a video and a forum to where Pixonic can have somebody that, that can review these videos to see that there is a confirmation between the players report and the video to confirm it okay this makes it a lot easier for for the players that are very frustrated in the game right now dealing with cheaters and uh, using hacks and and uh infinite stealth and all these other little things that are going on not just hacks but also glitches in the game that they can be reported that are being manipulated by some of the players of the game okay number three putting polls inside of the Facebook war, or the inside of the War Robots Facebook, okay? You know, Pixonic says that, that we speak and that they've heard us, okay? And with that, with that feedback that they obtained, they made the changes to the game that they made. Now, as soon as these changes are made, the entire community goes into an uproar. I mean, everybody's losing it, everybody's upset. So I'm not sure where they obtained the feedback that they say that they got from the players, okay? Because it didn't come from us. It really didn't. So I'm, I'm going to have to call. You know what I'm going to call on that one. All right. So <clears throat> they have a Facebook, War Robots Facebook. Now, if you simply put a poll in that Facebook and say, these are the ideas we're going to come up. Like, dislike, agree, strongly agree, whatever your options you want to do. But before you go out and make a change and that you say that the, the, the feedback is coming from the players, well, you know what? If that's the case, let it truly come from the players. You know, let, let the majority rule and let the players vote on what changes you want to make in the game. That way you already have an accurate feedback of, of what's going to come. Okay, the, the, the players are no longer surprised as to what's going to happen. You don't catch us off guard and you don't have to come over later on and say, I'm sorry. You know, I did this or we did that. So uh, I think putting a poll and, and allowing the, the players to go get on the Facebook and vote on, on your upcoming changes would alleviate a lot of the stress that you're probably going through with your with your player fan base right now okay and number two allow us to use our keys on video ads now every time we play a game we can either use that video to speed up progress we can use that video to obtain more keys or we can use that video to open up a bronze chest so the equivalent of the bronze chest is 10 keys, okay? So if we're acquiring keys in the game and you're acquiring uh, payment from Google AdSense 
through uh, videos uh, watched during the game, that instead of making us uh, use our keys on, uh, on different items, allow us to use our keys on progress. Imagine if we could use our, our, our keys and play videos all day long and, and, and speed up the progress of, of, of what we have in our workshop at that time, okay, or, or what's being uh, upgraded. You know, that would go a long ways uh, to help the player speed up the progress of their upgrades. At the same time, you're generating a check from Google AdSense because those videos are being watched. All right. And number one, combine the platforms, Pixonic. I think if you can combine the platforms with iOS and Android, that would go a long ways to generate a hype in the game. You know, players from Android have been wanting to play players from iOS and vice versa. You know, uh, I I've, I've have a lot of feedback from, from players and I have a lot of friends on both sides. And, you know, players from SOS, Korea, uh, Scrapyard Kings, uh, Hardcore, you know, would love to go up against Vox, CDX, uh, Noobs, and some of the other top clans in iOS. And that ability or that type of crossover, crossing over the platforms, I think would do a lot to generate a lot of uh, interest in the game. I think we doing something like that would draw back a lot of the players that left and, you know, may, may spark an interest in this game again. And using all of these top five or any of these top five uh, can, can, can help to achieve, bring back the game that seems to be in a rut right now. We seem to be losing a, a lot of players uh, to other games strictly because of the, the economy, the upgrade times, and a lot of the other things that are going on. These are ideas that I came up with that I think would, would improve the game. And I think crossing over the platforms, it definitely would be the, the strongest one of all. And if uh, Supercell and Clash of Clans can do it over there, there's absolutely no reason why we cannot do it over here. Okay? I'm not sure how uh, Game Room and, and Amazon would fit into it, if it'd be possible to combine four platforms. But your, your two strongest bases at this time are, are Android and iOS. So that might be something for you to consider in, in the near future, crossing over the platforms and letting everybody, you know, finally come to the conclusion of who the better players are. Android is always going to say it's Android and iOS say that they got the better players over there. Well, there's one way to settle it on the battlefield. All right, guys, these are my top five ideas. I want to hear your ideas. I want to hear what y'all have to say. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, I also want to know. But don't just disagree. You know, don't, don't tell me, I don't know, you're stupid. No. Why? Come up with, 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 your, with your argument and your foundation on it, and uh, let's discuss it. All right, guys? Till next time, this is Islander signing out.